Hello everyone, this is Blake, WartsDB71, back to introduce... Oh man, I couldn't have timed that any better, right? So, as you can see from the title here, or it may be here, or it could be over here, who knows what YouTube is going to do next. They keep changing things. So, back to show you a piece, I would call it, not a book not a record but a package um, so you know that uh, like uh, Van Seckle Funk showed some really cool stuff uh, from Sagittarius the Star uh, months ago and it has been a long time Van come back so months ago he showed us some really neat stuff and how EP was putting together special packages and things very limited edition runs um, very obscure music in the sense that, um, well, it was uh, kind of underground-ish kind of music, but even for some you know, the musicians that are known names, uh, he'd uncover special recordings, uh, tapes of shows, and things like that, um, and produce them in a, in a very fancy limited run. and. Uh, I picked up a few of those and fell in love with that idea. Just the idea of just supporting someone who's trying to bring the good music out and in a, in a special way. So several months ago, uh, good friend Mike Johnson, uh, Destination Out Show, you should uh, listen to it. Uh, w, w, uh, CMU? Oh man, I'll put it down in the link. Uh, Sunday nights, he does a radio show that you can listen to online if you can't catch him in the Detroit-ish area uh, of Michigan. So anyway, he played some um, New York Art Quartet and mentioned that it came from this really nice um, box set that came out um, that came out recently. And I asked him about it, so tell me more. And he sent me a link to Triple make sure it's right triple point records and I'll also have that link uh, in in the comments and wow so there's a picture of this really nice box set of New York art quartet um, that I finally got my hands on and wow, what a beauty it is so as you can see a wooden box and in it the right way. You have a book, a very nicely printed book, and five LPs. You see four here in the box. I've got one out. We're listening to it right now, uh, a volume number four. And in this very neat box um, is a bunch of cool stuff that I'm about to show you. So, neat little uh, contraption here. They contracted these boxes to be made by a, uh, I guess a carpenter business or a furniture maker business uh, nearby. Uh, so we'll first start with, uh, we'll start with the records. So in, in the box, the records you have um, very, very neatly produced. I've got them in sleeves, so they're probably going to be a little bit shiny here. Uh, Call It Art is the name of the box set, and each cover is uh, light art um, that an artist has done, uh, inspired by the music of uh, New York Art Quartet. Um, and then I'll show you those are one, two, and three. There's five, and I have four right here. Um, Again, I'll show you, uh, now I'll show you the logo, Triple Point Records, um, and for the most part, all of these recordings are a collection, uh, I, I mean, this had to have been done over years, a collection of tapes, reel-to-reel -reel tapes, um, that um, these folks have found, basically uncovering anything that the New York Art Quartet uh, recorded uh, that hadn't already been made available in some form or another. Now they have maybe two two or three LPs or that, that have their music on it. Um, 
neither of, of which I have, but if you remember, um, Anders, I believe, has one on the Fontana label. Uh, I'll show you a picture this, in this book that came with the set. Call it Art, New York Art Quartet, and um, you've already seen the, the spine in the back. Uh, very, very, very nice book. I'm going to try my best to show you some of this without destroying my book here. Um, let's see, how can I do this? Let me do this side um, and do a flip through. Lots of intricately detailed information in here. Uh, great pictures, photos, pictures of the actual tape boxes themselves. Uh, let's just see an example there. Um, and the way this book is laid out is really, really cool. It starts out with basically an introduction of the project and then uh, goes into three, you know, the three main members of the New York Art Quartet, which are John Takai, Roswell Rudd, and um, Graves. Um, oh, shoot. What's his name? Uh, Milford Graves. I was going to call him Michael, but I knew that it wasn't right. Milford Graves. Uh, here, here's the list of names here. Uh... Roswell, John, here's got Lewis on base here and Milford Grace. Um, they went through a lot of bass players, um, so you know, you know he's just one of probably uh, I don't know maybe a dozen <laughs> bass players that they, that they had coming through there. Um, but anyway, the book uh, back to it gives a brief um, kind of biography of. Uh, each of the three main members, and then goes into how they uh, met, more or less. Uh, interestingly enough, um, going roundabout to something that, that kind of happened uh, in email messages. Something funny about the, that horn there. I'll just go ahead and say it. They, and they comment about this, and uh, they comment very at length about all of the recordings. Uh, really detailed information and for this particular recording um, Alan Shorter was playing um, Wayne Shorter's brother Alan was playing trumpet and he mistakenly confused several on several occasions apparently the recording mic for an amplifier mic so while he's playing he's walking up to this recording mic thinking it's an amplifier mic for the you know the show they're on stage right and he's just blaring away into the microphone you know the, the, the recording engineer <laughs> oh man uh, so you hear that it gets it gets really loud but the the mastering of this they've really toned it down to a listenable level um, so it's not so bad um, it just is when it's playing over me anyway so after uh, these folks meet. Oh, back to the story. Um, so uh, they kind of met at, at some rehearsals for, uh, well, part of rehearsals for um, the New York Contemporary Five, um, which has Bill Dixon in it, uh, Archie Shep, um, and I think John and Roswell. Uh, performed in and out of that. I'm not, I'm, I don't know that much about the New York Contemporary Five. Well, anyway, uh, the art quartet kind of grew out of that, uh, some of those meetings. Um, anyway, after that, uh, they tell, uh, they give a very detailed itinerary um, of all of the shows that they played. Now, they were only together for, from, in 64 and 65, um, and then and then they split up, just going their own separate ways to follow their individual musical passions. Um, anyway, this is an example of, of like how some of the uh, the shows were done, and their paper, their clips of paper and notes and things like that that are photographed and presented in here for each of their shows. And then uh, uh, there's a lot of this, which is really cool. A lot of notes, uh, music, musical notation. Um, there's Alan again. Uh, so a lot of musical notation uh, in here. So if you read music, you can see a lot of really cool stuff uh, in there. I'm not so good at reading music, so it's just kind of over my head. Uh, but like I said, the end, um, there are pages and pages. There's like 160 pages in here. They talk about in detail each of these recordings, like 
you know, what people remembered or, or, or uh, article uh, write-ups or reviews or things like that or comments about the tape itself or what kind of mastering they had to do. Um, some of it, some of it is very good. Uh, there's one, one LP out of the five that, number two, um, the tape was pretty bad shape. Um, it's a good recording in terms of documentation of what was going on but probably one I won't pull out uh, and listen to uh, uh, again unless I'm, I'm hunting for something specific. Uh, so you have this great book um, detailing all kinds of stuff about it in this wonderful box. Uh, awesome. And these great records. Uh, the quality of the, the pressing and the vinyl is fantastic. Uh, I mean, you couldn't ask for anything better. Uh, they're at least 180 grams, maybe more, because the, the records are very thick themselves. Um, and on the back of each uh, record, you give the, of course, the recording and the, the performers. Uh, and that's about it for that. In terms of the music, um, the New York Art Quartet, as you can hear behind me, um, very uh, improvisational uh, chord group. Um, there is a, there is some writing that Roswell and John do, uh, but they play around that writing quite a bit. Um, great to hear Milford back there just wailing away on his drums. Uh, generally, well, actually, in this case, it's not Milford. Uh, this particular recording, they let some other folks uh, sit in. This is J.C. Moses. Milford is playing conga on this one, actually. Uh, sorry about that diversion, which this whole video is a diversion, right? Um, so let me try to wrap this up. Um, call it art. Great box set. Comes with a fantastic book. Uh, please check the link out and, and give Triple Point Records um, Give it a serious consideration. Uh, it, it is expensive, but uh, uh, it, it, you, you get a lot for that. Um, and the music is, is very well worth it, um, uh, especially with the book. The book is awesome, just very awesome. So I'm going to bow out here, and uh, maybe we'll come back around soon for another video. Just wanted to throw out some New York Art Quartet. Call it art, 1964-1965. Thanks again, everyone, and I'll see you later. Oh, wait a minute. I had mentioned uh, Anders had shown a uh, a cover of I, I believe if it's not this particular record. Um, oh, I'm not gonna find it. If it's not this particular record, uh, it's one very close. Here's John Chakai and the artist um, talking about or discussing the original artwork for the cover. And they have the cover in here. And they also have a photograph from which the cover was inspired. And it's a really cool photograph, which is why I want to show it to you. Um, there's the cover. Anders, I hope this is the one you have. If not, I know you have something that's like it. Maybe it said John Chakai and... Um, I think he did a, a, a duo or something uh, also with that same look. Anyway, that image uh, was inspired by this really cool photograph. Uh, and again, this book is full of cool stuff. That photograph. Yeah. All right. Let me get out of here. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.